What's up you guys? Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Welcome back to the channel. We are starting off today with a haircut, so before and after. So I actually just got a haircut last week, but it is my friend's wedding on Sunday, so I had to make sure that I look as fresh as possible. It's not really long enough to do the side part that, that my barber ended up doing, but it's getting there. It's just in that weird middle phase where it's not long yet, but it's not short, but I actually kind of like the length that it is right now. It feels nice to have some hair to be able to do stuff with again. And breakfast is done. Now let's go get the tuxedo for the wedding. We are back home now and I wanted to take a page out of like the beauty gurus book here on YouTube. I wanted to share with you guys some of my, my favorites. Some of the things that I found recently that I really enjoy using. This is not sponsored at all, nobody is paying me to show any of their products in this video, but it's stuff that I found that I think will be able to help you guys out. So the first thing is actually what my camera is sitting on right now. It's a new tripod that I found. So let me try and jerry rig something so I can show you guys the tripod that my camera is sitting on right now. Okay, I kind of have to lean down, but this is the tripod that I found recently. I'll try and find the link for it, but it's by this company called Siri or S Siri, however it's spelled. But as you guys can see right now, it is extended as it, as it would be, you know, how the camera was sitting on it. But what's awesome about it is you can turn it into like, you know, it's like a selfie stick. And the thing that's great is that it's not flimsy and it doesn't like fall over. My old tripod which is this thing, which you guys have seen a lot of YouTubers use, after a while, the legs just become like point, like they don't work. And so you'd set your, I would set my tripod down and it would just, my camera would just fall over. It happened millions and millions of times. And it just started to get annoying. Now, the thing that's awesome about this tripod and the reason that I like using it is because you can put it around things. But honestly, with how much I use that feature, you know, putting it around a pole and stuff, it just didn't really make sense because I wasn't using it that much. So for me, this thing is awesome because you can extend it out, bring out these legs right here, and it's just so much more sturdy and it's not gonna like fall over and tip over and you still get a good amount of size. It's not like, it's not like you need too much when it's just gonna be like a little tripod that you're gonna use for you know vlogging and carrying around. So this thing is a game changer and I've been using it for a couple days and I absolutely love it. So the next thing I wanna talk about, this is actually something that I've talked about before on the channel. I actually recently found some boxers or underwear that I really, really, really like. Like literally my absolute favorite pair of boxers I've ever found. They're really helpful for, for me because you guys know I have my loose skin and they're, they're just probably the best boxers I found for my loose skin dealing with, you know, dealing with loose skin and trying to work out and, and you know, do running and jumping. Like they have absolutely changed the way that I work out and I, I really, really like them. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but I just, I had to share this with you guys. If any of you guys maybe struggle with loose skin as well, I think that these boxers, if you're, you know, if you're a dude or if you're a woman, you want to wear them too, can really help you out. And they've, they've been an absolute godsend for me. So the actual boxers that I'm talking about is this brand right here. It's called Pair of Thieves. I bought these at Target right by my house. They're, they're kind of pricey. They're about like 13 to $14 each pair, but I'm telling you like they have absolutely changed my life. So I'm actually wearing them right now. <laughs> I bought so many pairs of these. I'm wearing the same exact pair, but I'm about to get naked. So if you don't want to see that, skip ahead. <laughs> this is this is what they look like on. And what I really like about them is how, how long they are because I'm still able to kind of pull them up because you guys know with with the skin right here, you know, it hangs down. So I'm able to still pull it all the way up right there. And it still, it still covers, you know, most of my leg because a lot of times, like if my, if, if the boxers aren't long enough and they're, they're short and they, they end up riding up and then this kind of shows a lot. And that's, it's just hard when you're working out when this is kind of moving around. So when the boxers are long enough to really get down and, and really just basically come down to my knee, like they are absolutely amazing. And I'm telling you, like, 
they're the, the another huge thing about them. Let me put my pants back on. Another huge thing about them is they're super breathable. So a lot of you guys know if you saw my last like compression clothing and loose skin video, I wore these Reebok. These were the the boxers that I was wearing. These Reebok boxers, and I, I think these are great and they they work really well. They're pretty long, um, not as long as the pair of thieves. But the only thing is is just the the material that they use. So this material is I mean it's great, but it's it's not as breathable as the the stuff that the pair of thieves use. And because with the pair of thieves like you could probably almost see right through that right um, and they're just not as like they don't stay as sweaty these things would just stay wet and sweaty these they don't they don't stay sweaty for very long I mean obviously they get sweaty but they they just work really really well so again recommendations if you are you know looking for some workout gear if you're dealing with loose skin I always recommend sizing down that's what I do with these so these are all mediums that I wear normally I would wear a large like if I was thinking about just for comfort but if you're thinking about trying to compress things and, and make it tighter you're gonna want to go a size down so for these I went a size medium I wear a size like 36 34 36 so that would be kind of considered a large but again I always size down when I'm going for undergarments to you know compress my loose skin so these things seriously I absolutely love them I think they are the best underwear on the market right now especially for the price it's kind of expensive if you're used to getting the five for ten dollar deal which is what I used to do at Walmart but these things are so absolutely worth it. You can get them online too. I'll make sure that I link their, their website. Again, not sponsored at all. But if you are you know, thinking about getting more boxers, I definitely recommend Pair of Thieves. They're awesome. Okay, cool. So now you guys know exactly what kind of underwear I wear. <laughs> I'm not really going anywhere, I'm just trying to practice to get better so I can eventually go places on the one wheel. <laughs> So the good news is that it did not fall. The bad news is is that it is over 100 degrees outside, so I was just like drenched in sweat the whole time I was riding that thing. But it was fun nonetheless. With that being said, it is time to eat some food and then go to the gym. So as you guys can tell, I have decided to come to the gym dressed as an American flag, so hopefully that gives me the competitive advantage in today's workout. You're always going for those flattering angles. You look good, man. What? Are you modeling for me? Or? Oh, what are you talking about? No, I'm just stretching. Oh, yeah? Just stretching. Just sitting casually. Yep. <laughs> My brother is actually vlogging today, too, so... If you guys go to his channel and watch his video of this workout because you can get a different perspective. I was able to get all the rounds, so 150 wall balls done. Now we're moving on to the second part of the workout.
Look at how beautiful the sky is right now. I wish this did it justice, but it absolutely doesn't. And we are back home. That's going to be the end of the video today, you guys. I am also wearing headbands again. It has been so hot and the amount of sweat that I get in my eyes is ridiculous. So these are coming back. They're making a comeback. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. There was one other thing that I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. Look up above I am. Uh. <laughs> Sky's on fire. Right now, the sky is almost as beautiful as you are. Lit. <laughs> Obey the warning signs, and when there are flashing lights or wigwags, don't attempt to cross until they come to a complete stop.